Hello friends, I am here to talk about a very important, a very nuanced neurological disorder known as Parkinson's disease. It may not be a very prevalent disease, but I can assure you that a lot of patients within the community, in your family may be suffering from Parkinson's disease and probably they have just been not identified. How do you identify a patient of Parkinson's disease? Or who are the potential patients who probably are suffering from Parkinson's disease. A normal routine history of a Parkinson's disease patient would be something like a patient who has insidiously and gradually become slow over years. He was a very active person working very diligently and suddenly he has become very slow. Though he is mentally very active but because of his physical stiffness, slowness, he has not been able to do his job. He is almost limited to his house. He sits on a chair for hours and on. He needs a lot of prodding to come out of his chair. He takes a lot of time to come out of his bed. When he walks, he tends to bend down and sometimes he festinates. Festinates means he walks fastly and with slow steps. Patients may have tremors. It is usually in the hands which can go to the legs later. The patient may find difficulty in writing. His writing may change. His voice may become very muffled and slow. His face, which was earlier very full of expression, has suddenly become very mask-like, which we call as masked faces. The patient who is troubled about walking because he tends to fall while walking. A person who always complains of stiffness, pain all over the body patient who has suddenly started having depression along with all these symptoms. Probably this is a patient who probably is suffering from Parkinson's disease. It is important to identify such patients and be evaluated by the specialists because the treatment of such patients turn out to be very gratifying. It is a very good treatment for Parkinson's disease. With medicines itself, they can almost go back to their normal lifestyle with good physical activity. Parkinson's disease by and large doesn't affect the mental cognitive faculties. So once these motor disorders are corrected, they can always go back to their normal life. It is a much relief for the relatives and caregivers because a patient with Parkinson's disease requires a lot of attention and you know they need to be taken care of. But once they are on medications and on treatment, they become fully independent. Some patients who are on Parkinson's disease for a duration of time may start getting complications of the medications and the medicines also become less effective. For such patients, we have got a surgical option which is called as the deep brain stimulation. A deep brain stimulation, if I can put it in a simple term, would be something like a pacemaker to the brain. So it is a very effective treatment and this should be offered to all patients who are eligible for that. In conclusion, I would like to say that we may be having a lot of these Parkinson's patients who we are thinking that probably they are, they are you know, just suffering problems because of their age, but they may actually be having Parkinson's disease. There is a very small section of patients who, who suffer Parkinson's disease at a younger age, which we call as juvenile Parkinson's disease or younger onset Parkinson's disease. They usually get identified because of their nature and age, but most of the elderly people of Parkinson's disease, they don't get identified. It's very important that we identify them and start treatment as early as possible. Thank you. <music>